Good evening. Uh, one year ago today, it was a very dismal time when I first started talking to the Parks Board because we faced a dire situation of a lifeguard shortage that eventually ended up being very uh, dismal. We only opened uh, about half the pools last summer, but it looks very bright this, this year because of the advocacy of the Parks Board, the lifeguards, the City Council, and members of the community who advocated for a $22, $22 living wage, which ended up at 20 we got 13 lifeguards full time with full benefits who will be hired shortly. Um, but there is still some work to do. We are on the verge of being the absolute best aquatics department division in the United States. But we need to do a few more things. We need to get the bonuses back this summer that were in effect last summer, which is what Council Member Paige Ellis advocated for when we pass the budget. So 500 to start, 500 at the end, 250 for advanced certifications, which are very important this year because if we're gonna hire more than 800 lifeguards, you need a lot of lifeguard instructors. For those lifeguard instructors, you need to pay them an extra $250 bonus. Also, part of the, and I was assured by both Kimberly McNeely and uh, Lucas Massey that this will happen, and that is paid training during the lifeguard course and paid training during the uh, lifeguard training course. Right now, you have to take five days off, not get paid, pay $100, the partial scholarship, to be a lifeguard instructor. That should be, you get paid, and it's no cost. And it should be, when you sign up to be a lifeguard, you get paid from day one of training, just like you would at McDonald's if you're learning how to do the, the French fry machine. So that helps get people on board so that they start. Right now there's a lag. There was a lag last summer between when people finish the lifeguard course and when they first day of work. If you put people on payroll at the beginning of the lifeguard course, you shorten that. So maybe they can address that later on. Um, a few other things. Um, um, <clears throat> Uh, we are having a discussion in the Aquatics Department about a uniform policy. Um, I don't know if you heard about it, but last summer there was an incident where a uh, staff member, upper management, came to Barton Springs Pool and saw the lifeguards, did not like seeing how some of them fit into their uniforms, and threatened to send them home, write them up, threaten their jobs. As you know, I get emotional. People have a right to feel good when they're at work. They don't need their boss coming around criticizing how they look. So I support a uniform policy change that allows all the guards to feel comfortable at work, not having to wear shorts over their swimsuits for various reasons that I ran out of time to tell you about. Thank you very much. Thanks, Mr. Cobb.